What is going on guys, welcome to Blender Masterclass, my name is Chris and today we'll learn how to create the solar system. Yes, so first of all let's delete this one here, click Shift A, Mesh, UV Sphere. Okay, let's just uh, Shade Smooth. And before we do anything, let's just go up here, make sure you are on Eve, click Blue. That's the first thing you have to click on, first of all. <laughs> and now we're going to Shading. Mm -hmm. um, I like to be in render mode, so let's just switch the world real quick to black. Pretty cool. Okay, now click on this one down here. Click uh, new up here actually. And then up here where it says principal BSDF, you just go up where it says emission. And here. Shift A, search, and image. The image we are going to be using, I have linked in the description below. I have where all the images are. I'm going to use 8K of basically everything that's available. So I'm just going to do it. We start with the sun. So sun, here we go. This goes in color. And then we just turn up the string. Congratulations, we already have the sun. Isn't that awesome? Here we go. That's the first part. All right, now Shift A, UV Sphere. I don't know where it went. Oh, here. Wait, what the, what the hell did it go? I just added it in. Okay. UV Sphere. There. Oh, it's because it's on top. That's why. Great. Okay, I'll just place it over here. Um, we can, I'm just selling this one. Here we go. Shade smooth and shading. Uh, we're gonna click new. Shift A. Uh, image. Open. Now, which one should I take next? Let's just take uh, the moon. Yeah, why not? Here we go. And um, it looks a little bit too classy in my opinion, so. Let's see what can, oh, Spegler, yes, take that one down and lo look more realistic in my opinion. Um, roughness, up, down. I don't really see any changes, do you? No, okay, I'll just leave it how it is. And um, that's how I basically have the moon already. Um, which is pretty cool. Yes, now again, we're just gonna keep doing this till we have them all. So, it's pretty simple as you can see. Um, nothing hard about it right now. Uh, here we go again, shading, new, image, uh, open. Yes, I have so much uh, stuff on the computer. I know. I know. Uh, Macquarie? 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 I'm not English. Don't judge me. <laughs> Here we are. I look a lot like the moon, to be honest. Okay. Now this one is here. Whatever. Now. The, the Add how many planets that you want, okay? <laughs> I'm just adding a few of them right now. Shade smooth. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there's problems with the earth, but that's why you have to go into modifier and add modifier and say uh, subdivision uh, here and turn it up to three. That will help so it could get completely smooth. Um, so there won't be any problems. Now I just did it with this one just in case. <laughs> <coughs> No image, image texture. Open desktop. Uh, what do we have? Saturn. Saturn. I don't want to add the rings because I have a little bit problems with that one. Um, so I just add the Saturn on its own, without the rings. It's kind of weird, but okay. Here it is. Um, now I, I think I can show you now uh, what I mean about the Earth. 
Shade Smooth, Shading, New, Image, Open, Desktop. Uh, where does it say Earth? Earth, 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 Earth. There, here. I don't know if it does it now, but no, it doesn't do it now. I think. Oh, I think it has a little bit bumpness to it. Um, so what I said here, add modifier, subdivision, render tree, one, two, three. Most of the bumpness have been gone, as you can see. Uh, so let's just do something about this here. Spigler, turn that one down. Maybe it should be up just a tiny bit. Um, if you really put a lot of work into this, you can get it like how you really want it to look like. Um, where's this light? Here we go. Let's see here what we can do. You can also add an atmosphere. Um, there's no tutorial on it right now from me. Uh, but that will be soon. But this is basically how you do it. Uh, let me just do this here. I think I'll turn this into a sun. One. Uh, five. Okay, here. Let's just mess around with this real quick here. There, there. Okay, here they are. Now, what about the background? We need something for that too, right? So, okay. Um, let's do this here. Add a plane. Just scale it up as high as possible. Turn it up like this. Well, not exactly like this. This is stupid way but okay but just like that maybe it's a little bit too big <laughs> um, then we go into shading as well here with this click new image and we are going to choose the one called stars and milky way rendered here Okay, the problem, here we go, the problem is the light, that's for sure. So let's see if we can take this, sorry, let's see here. No, it's fine, it's fine. It's actually fine, you just gotta take the spectacular down. Here we go. And then you can add them all around if you like, like in a square box. Like this. So um, when you're turning you can see it all around. Um, and that's basically how you create the universe and then you just kind of place them in order of course. <laughs> And uh, maybe add a few more lights in. And also maybe scale the planets up a little bit. Let's just scale them up. Yeah, like the uh, like the Earth is bigger <laughs> than everything else. Why not? Okay, but this is basically how you do it, um, and then you can of course just place it however you like. Do some cool animation, and um, but you get the picture. Um, you can add a lot of planets in, and there's a lot of texture out there for other planets. So you basically make a whole universe, like 
the whole galaxy and beyond. And you can see as the textures, they're pretty, pretty good. They, I mean, you can zoom a lot into them and get the whole thing. So, you see, it looks pretty well done. And as I said, if you see these kind of weird bumps here, like it doesn't seem right, add a modifier, click subdivision, three, one, two, three. Oops, three. Here we go. As you can see, it looks a lot more smoother now. And you can do that for everything. And, um, but yeah, guys, I hope you like this video here. Um, this was an easy way how to create the solar system. And if you look in the camera's perspective, oh, zero, n, view, lock camera to view, perfect. If you look in this perspective here, Oh, if you s if you notice this here, um, the way you have to do it is click the camera, um, clip start, and sorry, you have to go to end and just keep pushing it up, like this, right? And then it won't do the stupidity. All right. So here it is, and then you can just literally make anything. So let's just for fun render this uh, image here. Render image. Doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad, alright? So, um, yeah, that's what I believe you can do, what you can do something more awesome with, and uh, you can create a whole universe and so on. So yeah, I definitely hope you'll give this a like and a thumbs up and um, support my YouTube channel. This is Splendor Masterclass and I'll see you in the next episode.